Good morning or afternoon or evening whenever you may be watching this and welcome to my channel Sarah Show Me where we preview different lines and the patterns and colors within so that you can see them and um, hopefully that will be helpful for you and your projects. Um, it's, I'm really visual and it's very helpful for me to see them. Um, one of the places that I first was able to do that was um, you know, during the pandemic was with a shop that was on Facebook and they went live selling their stuff and, you know, they would show you the fabric. So I really appreciated that. The only thing that um, was hard for me was I would get something, but then I would, they only had like maybe two or three of the whole line. And so I wasn't able to see everything in one line, um, actual fabric. So. That's where this is. That's where I kind of decided to do this so that we can see what's in the whole line and everything in it. And you can compare the colors and the prints within the colors. Um, so again, hopefully that's helpful. Um, so my show uploads every Wednesday and every Sunday. And then the give there is a giveaway for the week and the giveaways are announced, the giveaway winners are announced on the, fo the following Saturday. So um, if you want to be included in the giveaway, please subscribe, like, and comment. There's always at least one question. If you answer the question, then you will get an additional um, entry into the giveaway. You can win a, uh, you can win from one item from every show within the week. So if there's two shows that upload, you have the opportunity to win two gifts. Um, so, and there's, uh, I think that's it. So this week, uh, the theme is Riley Blake and Riley Blake is the manufacturer of, um, you know, different, different, um, items. So, um, we, today we have Calico and we have coloring on the farm. How fun. <laughs> so excited to open this one. Okay. So. Um, let's start with the charm pack. They're usually a little bit easier and a little bit less messy. And then we will move on to the covering farm. Calico is by Lori Holt of Bee in My Bonnet. She is um, known, I talked about her some in my last video, so you can always get information about that there. But she is, uh, has a great video. She has a lot of different products. Um, so check her out if you haven't already. Um, this is again Calico by Lori Holt. And here are all of the items that are included. There does not appear, there's so many. You can see here, this is really good. Last In the last show we had a, a jelly roll. And so we didn't have this color, this card in, on the back showing us everything that was included. Here you can see there are many prints many colors so I'm going to assume that we will not have duplicates again and it does not say that there are any duplicates it just says five inch stacker with 42 pieces so let's look at this everything in my show that I give away is new I do have to pop it open um, for you to see it if I don't already have one this one I do actually have one an extra one so I'm I just haven't popped mine open yet. So this one I'm popping open will be mine. The one that I give away will um, be, will, it will not be opened. So you'll get a nice new closed item. Okay. There's one. And again, I'm, I'm not expecting to see duplicates in here because, you know, there's so many um, on this card that we can see. There's so many that you can see that are on the card here. Little cherries with flower blossoms. Lori Holt does scrap quilting. She loves it. And so um, I imagine that's why she has so many in each line because she likes to make hers look scrappy. <clears throat> I think she and Bonnie Hunter are probably the people I think of the most when I think of scrappy quilts and scrap items. Look how cute this is. Ah, 
little chickadees, chickies. I hope you can see that. That's adorable. This again is called Calico. And then, you know, the other good thing about if you, if you end up liking this line or if you have it um, and you just are looking, you know, you can, or trying to get it, you can see what each one looks like. You can also, if you look at her, um, if you go to her YouTube, Lori Holt's YouTube, you can also see how she uses these, her scraps and, and quilts, and it can give you a really good idea of what, you know, some potential ideas on um, how to use them. How to organize them, she has stuff on how to organize. This is like a mustardy yellow. Oh, we're back to the little chickies. I think that's adorable. Adorable. Pretty greens. I like this one. So this has little little baskets. That's cute. Little baskets. Green reminds me of, it's not my favorite color, but I do like it. It reminds me of, um, you know, just being outside in the grass and in meadows and when I was younger, our hillsides, running around in the grass. into blues. This is a pretty blue. I like it. She has a lot of designs that I haven't seen before, like this one. I haven't seen this design before. I like this design. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen this one either. I mean, you know, everybody has different designs, but some are just a little more memorable than others. Here's some cherries again with the little flower on a more of a bluish kind of muted teal, maybe. I don't know. Darker blue. I'm sure I have that. And again, you can see there are no duplicates. We don't have two of the same color and print. That's what I mean by duplicates. We have the same print several times, but not in the same color, which is what would make it the duplicate. Itty bitty bitty flowers. Pretty color purple. Here's those baskets again, and a deeper, almost plumish color. I think that's fun. Little bitty ones. I would use that as a background. Or try. <laughs> I struggle with that kind of stuff. Maybe not in this colorway though. That's really dark. But if it was in a lighter colorway, I may consider it. I think those are fun. Or into like a beige-ish tan color. Some people might consider that a yellowish tan. Maybe camel, I don't know. It's pretty though. Here's that interesting background. Again, I like it. I mean pattern, not background, pattern. Into the darker colors. I like this one. I think that would make a fun background with a lighter, um, you know, a lighter color against it, contrasting 
fabric. Pity flowers and a little bit lighter. And last one. So again, this is Calico by uh, Riley Blake, well, by Lori Holt, and produced by Riley Blake. So again, this whole week is Riley Blake. These are all regular quilter cottons. There's no batiks in them. Okay, so there's that one. I'll put that back over here. And then let's open this one. Let's see, I'm pop it open with here. This is called Coloring on the Farm. It says Crayola here. So fun. Coloring on the Farm. I guess it's by Crayola. I don't know. It's probably by Riley, Riley Blake. He probably has a agreement with Crayola. They do a lot of stuff that's kind of fun like that. This is really cute. So they call their um, strips, which are two and a half inches, two two and a half inches by width of fabric. They call them roly polies. Yeah, roly polies. There's 40 pieces in here. This is by Crayola. Fun. Okay. Coloring on the farm. This is so cute. Oh, just adorable. Gosh. Okay. So here's your first one. So here you can see what we, I was talking about when it comes to duplicates. This particular line has duplicates. I wonder if it says that on here. Nope. But it does. So you can see here that this one, this one, and this one are all the same. Same pattern, same colorway, makes it a duplicate. So that's one. This one is very similar, but it doesn't have the barn in it. So it's a new, it's a new strip, right? It's just the animals. One, two, three. How cute. <laughs> Can't stand it. That's so cute. <laughs> they did a good job with how the animals look. And then we have one. So it's looking like so far you might get three of each pattern. So cute. So cute. And then you have some one, two, three again. You have, and so this would be the white colorway, right? So it says chicken, it says sheep, moo, oink, cluck. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> and then you have the red background with the animal faces. Pig, sheep. I thought I saw a chicken on one of these. Chicken. So cute. We have some chicken wire in red. Three of that. Well, I think this is the first chicken wire we've seen. And then you have the words in red again cow, moo, horse, ah, all that good stuff. And then you have the first pattern that we saw here which was the animals with the barn and the um, tractor but in a blue colorway they did a really cute job with this with the hay coming out <laughs> here we have some blue chicken wire and so you're getting three of each of these colors i mean patterns and then we have, I like this one, this pretty greenish, light green. 
And this is the one that does not have the barn. It just has the animals, which is really cute. I think this is probably my favorite one. And then we have, so that was three, one, two. So now we're down to two. So this is, one, we're only getting two of this lighter green um, faces of the animals with the dots. So there's two of that one. We get two of this yellow. It's a pretty soft yellow. Oh, two. Two of the sheep. So next week we're gonna um, move into. I know. Um, I know Fourth of July is coming up, so we're going to move into uh, patriotic. So next week's theme will be patriotic. I'm excited for that because I have a lot. We may end up with more than one show just so that the shows aren't really long. I think I'm counting at least eight items. So that's like four days. Yellow chicken wire. And then we have a, a gray. And this one has the barn and the tractor on it. So cute. Okay, so that again is the coloring farm. Well, not, or coloring on the farm rather. Coloring on the farm. Riley Blake by Crayola. And then again, this was Calico by Lori Holt, produced by Riley Blake. Don't forget to answer the question. The question is, what is the theme of next week's shows? Don't forget to answer that. Don't forget if you're new to like, subscribe, and comment. If you also answer the question, then you get two um, com you get two entries, so make sure you do that. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. Um, I look forward to Saturday when I get to choose winners for these things, and I'm really looking forward to the patriotic um, week because there's a lot of stuff. So um, have a great week. Stay safe and take care. Bye.